my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus a very happy easter to all of you and the word of god for our reflection today is are filled with awe and great joy the woman quickly the woman came quickly away from the tomb and ran to tell the disciples actually this is what we all have to do after the easter celebration or for the easter celebration we come that we hear that jesus is risen those people who have gone for easter easter vigil mass they have heard that jesus is risen am i right then after that what we do for easter we heard that jesus is risen and we say that it is well and good that jesus is risen and we say happy easter to those people who are here then if 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 there is a coffee and cake we go for that party in the church then we go and sleep the next day we start celebration in our home am i right brothers and sisters that is only a first part of celebration before all the celebrations at home we are expected like these women who are in the gospel to go to others and tell that jesus is risen filled with oh and great joy my dear brothers and sisters how many of us are filled with uh, great surprise and joy one of the problems with all of us is that we taken for granted things christmas comes we say that it is a birth of jesus and it is a really a, a wonderful celebration our celebration is very much Uh, related with the worldly things and easter also comes and we have the palm, man, uh, palm sunday mount thursday good friday then we wait for the easter then immediately after the east uh, after the easter vigil we start celebration present sisters the real celebration is that look at the lord with great hope look at the lord with great awe and joy that is what is expected from each christian we are called brothers and sisters during this easter season easter tide at least what shall we do the first mission entrusted to the disciples as christians is proclaimed proclaimed the resurrection of jesus in the midst of all this material celebration we forget the the mission of proclaiming the mission of proclaiming the resurrected jesus so brothers and sisters first and foremost our responsibility is to proclaim the whole world that jesus is risen what is the point in proclaiming this resurrection brothers and sisters this is the best way of evangelization when you are proclaiming that jesus christ is resurrected you are giving solution for many problems to many people you see so many people around you people who are in the midst of struggle pain sickness lack of peace family problems problems with children you see that lot of people with all these difficulties am i right but then you go and proclaim that jesus is risen they will ask you that so what then you have to explain them there is solution for your problems now the resurrected jesus is bringing so many so many blessings to the life of everyone so people who are in struggle pain sickness despair stress anxiety tell them that the resurrected lord is there go and meet him so the first responsibility of each christian during this easter tide all throughout our life especially during this easter season is to proclaim the resurrection of jesus brothers and sisters we have the responsibility we have the duty to proclaim the gospel first peter chapter 1 verse 13 we read that therefore prepare your minds for action discipline yourself set all your hope on the grace of jesus christ will bring you when he is revealed we have to give hope to people 
who are in struggle who are in pain who are in difficulty the great hope on the grace that jesus christ that the resurrected jesus is bringing to your life again first peter 1 chapter 1 verse 3 we read that blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ by this great mercy he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of jesus christ from the dead so brothers and sisters the second point for our reflection is that we are people of hope we are people of god hope that is the result of meeting the resurrected lord people who meet the resurrected lord they all can go back to life with hope praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord that is what we are all expected to do very often people come to the retreat centers very often people go to their beloved people very often people go to the parish church what is the use what is the need the simple need is that the simple um, advantage of all these things is people need hope to live ahead am i right especially people who are in struggle and in pain people who people need a lot of hope for their whole life if we have lost everything no problem if we have hope if we could see that bible is a book the word of god that speaks a lot about love and hope if these two words are taken away from the from the book the whole book is lost because these are the two words always jesus discuss among the people you see that giving life giving hope to the life of many people that is something uh, that is something a divine job who is giving hope you know that sometimes your you know brothers and sisters especially the parents who are here your children they are broken your children who are addicted to sin your children who are continuously failing for all the examination please do not discourage them give them hope telling them that you are you are doing something wonderful you will you will be able to uh, you, because of different situations or difficult situations you are not able to shine well but don't worry look at the lord you will shine well give them hope now this is also the time that our parents has to evaluate that what am i giving to my people people come with their own broken heart then if they are coming with one wound we try to make them five the wounds of our people are increasing brothers and sisters in fact we are called to heal the wounds of the people we are called to bless people we are called to encourage people we are called to put new hope and trust in the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus present this is letter to the romans chapter 10 verse 9 saint paul reminds us because if you confess with your lips that jesus is lord and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead you will be saved praise the lord praise the lord present this is during this time of easter tide easter season and afterwards also keep this prayer in your mind just to name <coughs> jesus is lord jesus is lord this is not a simple prayer it's not a big prayer as such in five lines or 10 lines or one book it's a simple prayer jesus is lord jesus is lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord i have heard an experience of the franciscan friars during the time of hitler's rule you know that in different parts of germany many were killed especially the jews were killed that time then pope appointed a few franciscan friars uh, to pray for the special uh, difficulty which the church and with the world face and this is very uh, this is uh, an established truth that there were three or four franciscan friars they went to a meeting where hitler was preaching and that was almost uh, many people were killed then he was 
giving a long speech on the need of um, eradicating people, especially the Jews. When he started that priest, uh, the, that speech, a few Franciscan friars went and prayed in that hall. They were also with the great, uh, the great crowd. And you know that this man was a wonderful priest, wonderful speaker. He could, he, could uh, he could inspire my people or he could impart his ideas successfully to the people around him. That is why he was successful there in one way. But brothers and sisters, these priests, these Franciscan friars, they are very simple, humble priests. They can't do much. So they did only one thing. They went and prayed there, Jesus is the Lord. While the, while the speech was going on, they, they said only these two words, Jesus is Lord. It's a powerful word. And it is said that after a few minutes, uh, Hitler got giddiness and he had fallen down there. And it is also written that I have, given, I have heard a testimony a couple of months ago that it is also written that because that priest, that, that day, he was not able to do anything there. Because his intention was to instigate people against the enemies, the so-called enemies. He was not able to do that because he, was, he, got, he, he had fallen down and he was taken away to the hospital. Brothers and sisters, I would say that in the, in the midst of all the great problems, you simply pray, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. You are, you are facing a big struggle. You are facing a big problem in your life. Just you pray, Jesus is Lord. Brothers and sisters, please carry these three missions in your life today. What are the three missions? The first one is, what is that? The first point for our reflection is, what is that? What is that? We are called, we are called to proclaim the message of Easter. What is that? The message of resurrection. The second one is, we are people of hope. The third one is that we have to simply pray Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is the Lord. Brothers and sisters, I wish all the blessings of this great season to each one of you. And I pray that your, may your prayers be fulfilled. May your life be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that you are all prayerful people. You are all wonderful people following Jesus very seriously. Am I right? Yeah. So may the good Lord may continue to bless you more and more. May the good Lord may fill your hearts and mind with great hope, with great joy, and with great for and also great enthusiasm to proclaim the, the resurrected Lord among the people, among to the whole world. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.